Hello there. Welcome to the vlog for the week. Today is Monday. Brian and I actually just a few minutes ago got home from the lake. It is the start of my fourth week of sabbatical from work out of six weeks. And right now I'm on my way to get a haircut. I figured it's a weekday, so maybe there won't be like a a long wait. I'm just going to go to like a Great Clips. Nothing fancy because it's gotten pretty long and I want to get a, not like super short, but I want to get it trimmed up, get it evened out, all that. So that's what I'm on my way to do. Today they're supposed to be starting work on the condo and so like in our building at our lake condo they're supposed to be doing some plumbing work the like main lines they don't have to get inside the condos it's just like the main lines man there's a lot of traffic right now it's 12:56, so it's almost one so maybe it's lunchtime traffic i don't know I just know there's a lot of it. And there's a couple of people on the other side that want to turn, plus I want to turn. And my turn. But they must be, things at the lake move a little slower. And they were saying, you know, to be, to they prefer people to be out of the buildings for this week. And so Brian and I made sure we were done and gone by 9 a.m. Even though we were both talking about how they're probably not going to start early or anything. We looked on the security cameras and it doesn't look like they're still there and it's almost one o'clock. So I don't know. All I know is I want it to be done this week. They're claiming it'll be done within the week because I want to go back down to the lake because I want to spend some time for my sabbatical. I mean, I, so, dang it. I hope they get done, but the fact that they haven't even gotten there is really annoying. So, this week, planning on spending it at home, and tomorrow, Brian and I are gonna go get our flu shots and our COVID boosters and I need to get my driver's license renewed. It expires this month, so I might do that tomorrow. And then other than that, I wanna clean my house. I wanna pick out another book to start reading. Um, maybe watch some scary movies. Just, I don't really know what all I wanna do. But right now, I'm on my way to get a haircut and welcome to the vlog. Okay, haircut's done. See, still pretty long, but it's like much healthier and it's got the blunt cut to it that I was looking for. So, I'm happy. So I got done reading that Riley Sager book and I just looked through the books that my sister had loaned me and she has two Riley Sagers in there. The House Across the Lake. Maybe I'll save that one for when I'm at the lake. I don't know. And home before dark. So I'm excited. I sent her a picture of that one I just finished last week, asking her if she if she's read it yet. If not, I'm gonna take it with me when I go down at Thanksgiving and I'll bring that for her. So gosh, I don't know which one to read. I think I'll I'll read the backs and see what they're about and then I'll pick one. guys so it is Tuesday and it's about 11:30 right now and so earlier today Brian and I went and got our flu and COVID vaccinations for the year and then I went and got my driver's license renewed that took a while I was waiting behind like 10 other people it wasn't horrible but um, 
then I was home for a while and now I'm kind of just out and about. Um, I just got done going to the car wash. Now I'm gonna go fill my gas tank up at the gas station. I've got my book. I think I might go to Starbucks or somewhere. I don't know. I'm kind of just uh, wanting to get out of the house. So I don't really know what I want to do for sure. Just know right now <laughs> that's what I'm doing. Um, I'll say it about Starbucks because that's somewhere I could go in and I could just grab a coffee and then I could sit and read. Um, I don't really want to go out and like spend money so that's why I was just trying to think of something outside to do or just out of the house. not in a safe spot to touch my phone so <laughs> that's why I'm kind of just stalling oh wow quick trip we've got one of the places where the oh wow several spots that are like the, where the ground is torn up Ooh, okay maybe I am not going to stop and get gas right now because it is quite crowded. Oh, I guess I can stop right here though. The very end spot is available. So I will go ahead and use it. Okay, I'm done getting gas in my car. And so I decided I'm going to go to Marshall's because Django needs a new scratching post and they last time I was there they had some and they were really reasonable prices I was thinking about if there was like somewhere like a like a park or somewhere I could just go sit somewhere and read after I do that I always feel like if I go to a park, like like a kid kind of park, I always feel like a creep if I'm if I'm not like with a kid or anything. I don't want anybody to think I'm <laughs> like trying to scope out kids or some kind of thing. Um, I don't know. I'm just you just never know nowadays. You know what people are gonna think or say or do. So. I'm just going to start with Marshalls and then I might just end up going back home and sitting in my backyard and reading a book. I've got umbrellas out there for shade, but they haven't been raised in a while and I'm kind of afraid. Brian's working, or I'd ask his help, but um, I'm afraid to raise them because one time wasps had built a nest in, <laughs> in an umbrella. so. That's part of what keeps me from going in the backyard. I just need to remember to ask Brian because he's brave. He'll, you know, he'll he'll raise them for me just to make sure there's nothing scary inside. But so yeah, right now I'm just gonna go to Marshalls. I just I'm bored and I wanted to get out of the house. And instead of cleaning my house, which is something else I need to do. I just decided to get out and about. It's I like to clean house and also I need to vacuum and stuff like that and um, Brian's in the he's calling bids and stuff so I can't really vacuum. I have to wait till he's out of the house like doing bids and stuff so I think tomorrow is going to be a much better day to clean. So anyway now I'm just trying to occupy myself but also be mindful of not spending money. You know what I mean? So, anyway, that's what I'm up to today. He likes the ones like this. And we have them for $15. Oh, wait, he doesn't, he never plays with these, so I always cut these off. But the, he's, and he has more than one, but one of them needs to be replaced. This, this but, so, found that. So, it is. Still Tuesday, I'm home. 
and I am going to start this book, Home Before Dark. It sounds really good. It's early Wednesday morning. Got my book. my cat. <laughs> hey guys, so today's Thursday. I'm all decked out in my Halloween gear. <laughs> Even have a little Halloween clip in my hair. And I'm, it's almost one o'clock and I'm reading my book and actually I was getting ready to vacuum. And then I couldn't remember what I was going to do and I came in here and I thought, well, I'll make something for lunch. But now I remembered what I was really gonna do was vacuum. So I might stick this back in the freezer, go ahead and get the vacuuming done, then heat up a lunch. Um, my brain does that to me sometimes where <laughs> I'll be like on my way to do something and then it sidetracks me or I won't remember what it was that I was gonna do. That's what happened just now. I was like, um, Brian was leaving to do some uh, work stuff and I remember before that I was like oh I'll wait to vacuum until you leave because he's been making phone calls and stuff because I didn't do it yesterday I was going to clean house yesterday and I didn't today I got all the dusting done and now I'm going to vacuum yeah that's what I'll do and then I'm going to read some more of my book that book is really good. Um, it's even creeped me out a few times, which is awesome. But anyway, so yeah, then I'll make a lunch. <laughs> Let me go vacuum real quick. I finished this book. I enjoyed it a lot. Next, I'm going to start this book. Maybe not today. I might start it tomorrow, but this is what's up next. Hey guys, so today is Friday and we got some news from the condo and I'm really kind of disappointed and pissed because the work that they were supposed to be doing this whole week on the, on the water pipes, nothing has happened. They said due to unforeseen circumstances, the plumber they hired wasn't able to do the work or start the work so they're not supposed to start it until this coming up week which was when I was going to go back down to the lake because I only got two weeks left of my sabbatical and so now that whole week supposedly they're going to be working on the condo they also didn't like tell us until this morning it's just highly disappointing and I'm very pissed off honestly because I was going to spend a good amount of the, my last two weeks at the lake that's not gonna happen now so I have to pivot <laughs> but anyway I guess I still should be thankful that I'm I've got the sabbatical and I don't have to work but so this morning I'm wearing a uh, Halloween shirt and I think I'm gonna start putting together a Lego set and I'll show you what one I'm talking about it is this one it's the McAllister's house from the movie Home Alone glare on it. It's got quite a few pieces, but this one's really cool. It's got like, even has the truck and the tree house. And if I can flip this over, once you get the house all put together, it opens up and then you can see different scenes from the movie on the inside. So this cheers me up, so I think I'm going to at least do one, These, the, like the Lego sets come with like bags, I'll show you, but I think I'm going to start on at least one bag today. So this is what I mean by the bags, <laughs> there's just, and they're numbered, and some of the bags, a few, there's more than one whatever 24 is going to be, 
has got a couple. One of these I thought I saw three bags. Yeah, 21's got three bags. But I'm just going to start with number one. So the book instructions looks like, dang it, the glare. It looks like the battle plan, you know, that Kevin McAllister put together when the bad guys were showing up. But here's bag one. Looks like it's going to be Marv and, oh my gosh, I can't think of his name all of a sudden. Marv, whatever. Um, so here's bag one. But it looks like it's going to be their plumbing van. So that's what I'm going to start with. Dang it, that's bugging me. I love this movie. It's one of my favorite movies. And for whatever reason, I can't think of his name right now. I know what the name is, so you don't have to worry about commenting it. <laughs> but yeah. Harry. Harry and Marv. And how can I forget? Because the one that was, was it in part two? One and two, I like them both equally, where Marv gets electrocuted and he's going, Harry, <laughs> when he's crawling along the floor. How can I forget the name? But anyway, Marv and Harry. Okay, done with the truck. It rolls. There's some treasure in the back. Oops. Got the two, got Harry and Marv, and then... Harry even also comes with his little police hat. Oops. <laughs> the little police hat. Like, gosh darn it. If you want to, like, you know, if you're, like, playing with the set. But this is all done. It's our little plumbing truck. The little door on the back opens. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and start on bag two now. While I'm doing this, I'm watching the show Reba. I really enjoy that show. Okay, that's after three bags are done. I've got like the mechanics in here for things that are going to happen later. Little windows for the basement and the front stairs. And now I'm getting ready to start on bag four. The th third step had two bag, three bags. So step four now. Here's the progress through bag five. I'm getting ready to start bag six next. Okay. Bag six is done. And then, like, remember how he was making it look like there was a party with, like, the train and stuff? That's there. A little fireplace and the stockings and the Christmas tree. The little cars he left out. Photo album he was looking at. Okay, bag seven is done. And we've got a little entryway here. Look, it even has a little porch light. And the door opens. You can see the stairs in there. This is so cool. I am really enjoying myself, but I am gonna take a break and have some lunch because it's almost two o'clock right now. <laughs> and I've spent almost my whole day doing this, but I'm loving it. I don't know how much more I'll do. I wanted to do 10 of the bags, and if I start again after I have lunch, I will start with bag eight. So I think I could do it. This is what I'm gonna make for lunch. These are like just single serve chicken fried rices. And they're really good and quick. And they cook in the microwave. So I started on this Lego set, I think around 11 maybe, and it's almost 2 now. Maybe it was around 10.30, so not exactly my entire day, but um, 
I just want to keep going. But my stomach started hurting because I haven't eaten anything all day. So um, I'm really enjoying putting it. I haven't put together a Lego set since Daniel was younger because he loves Lego. And when he was a kid for Christmas, that's what he would get a lot is Lego sets. And I would help him put them together. And so I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm liking this a lot. Part of me wants to just finish it, but there's like 24 bags <laughs> and I'm getting ready to start on bag eight, I think. So yeah, <laughs> lofty goal, we shall see. Okay, bag eight is done and this is the kitchen. It's like a little grandfather clock. It's going out of focus. The fan, remember that he had like the feathers that got Marv. The, here's his macaroni and cheese on the table. The table and the chairs like move around. And then there's the record player where he put like the wig so it would make it look like somebody was in there. It turns. So that's it so far. Here I start bag nine. Okay, now bag nine is done. So we've got the front on, and what's really cool about this is it's made to open up so you can look inside. So here's what the front looks like, and then see how this has like that little hook? It goes on the side of the little armchair. That's like a little armchair. So when you close it, it hooks, which is really cool. And then there's some like reinforcements and stuff up there. And so now I'm getting ready to start bag 10, which I think will get the front of this side. Maybe then we'll be done with the first story. Okay, bag 10 is done. Similar to the other one where this opens up and you see inside the kitchen and then this hooks to the record player to like help it stay shut. So one, one level is done. So that bag started the second floor. So this is the start of the second floor and I think I'm gonna go ahead and start bag 12. And the progress of the second floor. You know, the part on Home Alone where Kevin accidentally knocks down the shelves. Okay, focus. It does that too. It has like a, a little thing. So that's going to be Buzz's room. This is fun. It's sure taken a long time though. Okay, so here's the bathroom. A little perfume bottle and a toothbrush. Little bedroom door opens. <clears throat> There's a little <clears throat> fireplace and the clock and a bed and a little lamp. There's Kevin's popcorn on the side. And then <clears throat> there's part of the hallway. There's the tarantula that gets on Marv. And then starting on Buzz's bedroom. So we've got his bedroom starting, but I think the next box must be, or the next bag must be what his bed's in. So there's the update. Okay, so that was bag 14, and I think I'm going to go ahead and stop for the night. Brian went to Sonic to get us some dinner, and then we're going to watch Big Brother get caught up. So Buzz's room is done. It's got his bed and his desk. He has like a little safe. Just has a little heart in it. <laughs> there's his girlfriend. And then there's like a little end table. That is the paint can. That's like a banister for the stairs. And then you know how he drops the paint can? So that's what that's for. And then there was the door to the bathroom and then a little bench 
our little stool was added for Kevin so he could reach the sink. That's Django playing with a toy. <laughs> and then the little toilet. So that's going to be it for now. And then tomorrow, I'll probably be able to finish this thing because I think I only have like nine bags left. Looks like a lot of book, but I've gotten more done than what's left. I'm just really enjoying it. I honestly would keep going, but I probably should take a break. It's 7.30 p.m. right now, and I've really been working on this a long time. Okay, I started again. Been working on this for about another 30 minutes. So I've got the first level done, and now the second level is done. This works the same way as the other, where you can open the front up. And it's all done. And then now I'm gonna add this story to this story. And that's what it looks like with two stories on. Okay, I started the floor for the attic, and now, um, what time is it? It's about 11.15, so I'm going to go to bed, and I'll work on this some more tomorrow. I'll probably end up getting it done tomorrow, would be my guess. I got so much done today. So it's Saturday morning. Brian made us this wonderful breakfast, and I also started my morning working on the attic on the Lego. So I have kind of a <laughs> mess here, but it's coming along. So I finished the roof slash attic. This one opens up like this. It's got like a little gumball machine in there, the sleeper sofa, Kevin's little plans and a soda, little lamp. Since it's an attic, it's got a spider web up there. And then this will get added to the top of the house. And there it is with the roof on. Now I'm getting ready to start on the next bag. This is part of the back of the house. Instead of having a basement, you know, the washer and dryer is kind of like in a little back part. So there's a washer and dryer, a little tool area, and then um, there's ice on the steps. This is so fun. And then here's the furnace that Kevin's scared of. It actually lights up. So the kitchen is done and it goes up on top of the laundry room and the furnace, you know, down there in the basement. Got a couple of little pizzas in here. Got a refrigerator and inside the refrigerator. Let me tilt this a little bit so they don't fall out. Watch they'll fall anyway. There's a couple of mac and cheeses, like frozen ones like what he made. The sink, the little TV. And then when Harry comes through and he burns him, <laughs> the little flame, and then the microwave, and then the little place where he was setting up his little army guys and stuff and shooting them with his BB gun. Little stove, there's the kitchen, and then I put it all together. Now I'm getting ready to build the roof for this part. And the roof is done on this part. This attaches to the back of the house. See how the door even has like the little doggy door? A 
I'm working on the finishing touches for the back and doing the trash can. And look, they even have Kevin's plane ticket to go into the trash can. So it's like it's combining Home Alone 1 and 2 because there's like New York parts and the first one parts. This is just <laughs> so cool. And then you put the little back porch lights on and then this part's done. And then this back part is going to connect to the big house part and then see how there's like these little things sticking out and there's a place where they'll connect. It's really cool how this all this works. And then see how I still have to do there's like some Christmas decorations to put on the front. I'm gonna do that. So but once it's all built, you can open the house up in different little areas and stuff to look inside. It's really cool. Now I'm going to work on, I think it's the finishing touches with the Christmas decorations and then the tree house is also included. So, and then I'll be done with this thing. On to the very last step, steps I should say. Look at all the rest of the pieces. Oh man, <laughs> the decor is gonna be interesting. God, my hands look old. I hate looking at my hands in the camera. It is all the way done. I think I'm gonna use this as a Christmas decoration. You know, like when it comes around Christmas, so I'm gonna get some of the like snow that you can put down. You know, the like little flat fabric and cover this with like snow and just use it like as a little Christmas decoration. But it's all done. Got the tree house built. So that like old guy that he thought was bad guy but was really a good guy. It's all done. I think my son's gonna be proud of me <laughs> for getting this all the way done. And it's so cool. Because then, like I said, it opens up. You can look inside and, oops. <laughs> if you don't pull the, sh the, the shutter off like I just did. But I showed you guys that already anyway. And I put Kevin and his mom out on the front. There's all the like... You could even really like, if I wanted to leave this out year round and decorate it, I could take the Christmas decorations and the snow off the bushes. And I could even make it for Halloween. You know, that's an idea. I could get some webbing and make this little Halloween display even. I don't know, for right now, since that took me so long, I'm just gonna leave it right here on this little thing that we inherited from Brian's grandma years and years and years ago. We keep it in our entryway. I'm proud. Hello there. So it is Sunday morning. And I'm out in our shed. I'm getting just a few Halloween things out to decorate. Um, this right here is what I've been putting the scarves in that I'm going to be donating. Um, that I've been making, but um, I've gotten a couple of jack-o'-lanterns down. I got Mr. Bones, our skeleton, and some placemats. I'm just getting a few things, but I'll show you when I'm done, but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just out in the shed. <laughs> okay, here's Mr. Bones. I put the fuzzy ghost up there behind him. Django usually really likes Mr. Bones, he like will sit on his lap or try to. Why, I don't know, he's pretty bony. But I put the cat, the skeleton cat that I got at Five Below with him. But he's got a nightmare before Christmas. He's gonna get on his lap. He 
It's so silly. <laughs> it's a crazy cat. Did we get your buddy back out? I'm I'm so glad I, I got to like show you guys that. But anyway, there's Mr. Bones with his ghost and his cats. <laughs> and then this is the coffee table. It of course would look a lot better if it was dark, you know, you could see the things better. And then I have this Halloween tree I got from Michaels. Um, several years ago, they used to be hard to find. I don't know if they still are. That cat right there is a laser. It's like an automatic laser that you can turn on on a timer for the cat to play with. We don't turn it on all the time, but if you can tell he's bored, then we'll turn it on. And then on either side of the television, I have a jack-o'-lantern. That guy. And that guy. And then on the wall, I have this sign. It's got spooky pumpkins and it's got Chiefs football in there. And then over here, I just have vampire blood as the candle. I'm actually trying to use up my candles because I prefer the wax melts over the candles now. But I, I like the... Look at that one. And then the last thing I have is placemats on my table. These I actually got from Timu. I had them out last year and I got them back out again this year. I really like them. I just like how they each have a different Halloween picture on them. So that's my Halloween for this year. And this one has now settled in. <laughs> Hello, so it's still Sunday. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not planning on really doing much today. I'm probably gonna read. Um, Brian's got football going. Might watch some YouTube videos. I don't know, um, just taking it easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the vlog up for the week. Um, Django is still sleeping on Mr. Bones. He's been there for a couple of hours. He just, he's changed his position a few times, but it's so funny how he likes that skeleton. But anyway, I'm wrapping the vlog up for the week. Um, keep your fingers crossed that maybe they'll get the water pipes fixed at the condo at the lake so I can go down there and spend some of my the rest of my sabbatical time there i've only got two weeks left and i really wanted to spend half my sabbatical there but that hasn't happened so but yeah keep your fingers crossed that they get the water pipes and or get the water all the stuff that they're supposed to be doing that that gets done and they start at monday like they're supposed to they're supposed to start last monday i'm not going to get on a tangent i'm not going to get mad about it again but um, anyway, I hope you liked hanging out with me this week and I hope you come back next week. Bye.